So I'm going to take you through how to uh, cut between Cinema 4D cameras in After Effects. So I'm just going to start with a fresh composition. 720p, 25 frames a second, and duration 120. I'm going to create a new Cinema 4D file. And I'm just going to save it as, I'm just going to save it to temp as untitled. That's fine. Call it any name you want. It starts up Studio 16. I showed you in the last tutorial how to uh, start up the full version of Cinema 4D instead of Cinema 4D Lite. Okay, so that's version 16. So I'm just going to create some text here. Just call it Quick VFX. And I'm just going to give it a slightly better font. Terminator. And I'm just going to center this over here somewhere. Okay. So I'm just going to save this. Originally saved with version 14. Yes, that's fine. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to drag and drop my layer into my composition. And as you can see, it's imported our Cinema 4D scene into After Effects. I'm going to create a new After Effects camera, just quickly. And I'm going to set um, the camera to centered comp camera. And so this basically gives us a perfectly front on view of the Cinema 4D scene. So if you want, we can actually animate this in After Effects in 3D. Uh, I showed you this in the last tutorial, so I'm just going to just set some quick keyframes. And then I'm going to use the orbit tool, orbit around it, just a very simple animation. And that'll do. So I want to export this back to Cinema 4D quickly, so I'm just going to click here. And comp camera into Cinema 4D, I'm going to click merge says it's been merged with Cinema 4D. Great. Now this bit's a bit tricky, so you go back to Cinema 4D and nothing's happened. And you want to basically close this. And I'm just going to go back to After Effects, Edit Original with my layer selected. I'm going to go to Edit Original. And now we're back in Cinema 4D. We basically reopened this uh, Cinema 4D scene file. And the After Effects camera is now in here, so I can look through this camera. And it's the exact animation we created in After Effects. So I'm just going to set frames to 120, same duration as the After Effects project. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some more cameras in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to create a new camera. I'll call it Camera 1. And I'm going to look through this camera. And using 1, 2 and 3 shortcuts, I'm just going to reposition this camera. So we can now basically um, see this After Effects camera here animating because we're basically behind this camera. We're using the Cinema 4D camera now. So I'm going to give this a new kind of camera angle. Um, say this one can be quite close up. Just going to give it some very simple animation. Uh, just keyframe everything here. Whoops, just move this back here. Go to the end and kind of animate it like this. Keyframe everything. Okay, just a simple animation like that. I'm just going to create another camera. Call this camera 2. I'm going to now look through this camera. And using 1, 2, and 3, I'm just going to change the angle. So I'm trying to rotate around here. I'm actually going to go behind it, maybe. So we can see the After Effects camera and the first Cinema 4D camera in the scene as well. This, uh, I'm just going to animate again, very simply. Keyframe all these properties. Come to the end and going to rotate around it slightly. It's a bit messy, but it'll do. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to save the scene. Um, just gives me something about the old version. I'm just going to minimize this. And nothing's changed in the After Effects project. So what we need to do is we need to basically extract the Cinema 4D scene data. So I'm just going to click Extract. And now we have all our cameras in here. So the topmost camera is basically the active one. And it seems to be a problem. This isn't the angle uh, that, that I had originally. So I'm just going to go back to the Cinema 4D layer and I'm going to choose Comp Camera. And now we're actually looking through uh, the last camera we created. That was the correct animation. And I'm just going to turn that off. Look at camera one. Not sure what's going on here. I think this is just a dead camera. I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to look through camera one. There we go. That was the first uh, Cinema 4D camera we created. That was the animation path. And we also have our After Effects camera animation we created uh, originally. And to basically cut between all these animations, you can just simply um, alt square brackets to kind of adjust the lengths. So we start off with the original After Effects scene because that's right at the top. Then we cut to camera two, and then it cuts to camera one. Actually, I might have it the other way around. I'm just going to alt right square brackets to just cut it off. And I'm just going to render this quickly. And this is the result. So this is a very basic look at how to kind of send camera data between Cinema 4D and then back again into After Effects. So pretty useful. Uh, if you found this useful, please share it, and thanks for watching.